Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Holden ZA, and I'm going to be bringing you my first tips and tricks session of Gears of War 3. Our first weapon we're going to be doing for episode 1 is the sniper rifle. And this is probably my favorite weapon, and I really can't wait to get into it. Uh, heights is the first thing we're going to be discussing. Now, you get two main heights. One is your head height, and second is the waist height, which is just basically halfway down the character. Take note of these two heights, because these are the two main heights in which you get headshots. Uh, next off, we're going to be doing the lead shot. As you can see here, I put my reticule where I believe my enemy is going to be. This is at uh, head height 2 when they're in a roadie run. As you see, I slow it down, put it where I think their head is going to be, and then take the shot as they walk into the reticule. Next is when they're running away. Uh, one key note is try put it under the right arm of the opponent if they're running away from you, and you should be able to get the head shot. Next off, we're going to be doing the sweep shot. It's basically you adjust your reticule to where the head height is of the opponent and you sweep across and as soon as that head becomes in contact with your reticule you take the shot as we can see here in the slow-mo. The sweep shot is very effective. It is probably one of the most consistent shots in Gears of War 3 and if used well you'll become a great sniper in no time. Next off we're going to be doing the roll shot. The roll shot is when a player rolls out of their roll position and their head pops out at waist height as discussed earlier that waist height number two so what you do is you wait for them to come out the roll and then you take the shot because you know exactly where their head is going to be at that point that's just from the back position and now we'll see some in-game footage just slow down as you see I see the opponent rolling I know where his head is going to be move over take the shot and that is a very effective shot especially when you have rushing opponents towards you Alright, so next is head height and cover. When an opponent is in cover, they have three options. First option is to stick their head out directly over cover, as we'll see here. Next, we're going to be able to see the two options. See, his rifle is on the left-hand side, now it's on the right-hand side. So I now know that he can only have two options of sticking it out over the top, the right-hand side, if the gun is on the right-hand side, or the left-hand side, if it's on the left. Sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing this, but next is left-hand side cover. As you can see, my body's very exposed when I show it on the left-hand side. So what I do is I pull back on the, my left analog stick as I'm holding the left trigger, and then I keep on aiming and I take the shot. This gives me a lot more cover and my body is less exposed. Alright, so now we're going into the more advanced trick shots. Um, these take a lot of practice and most of the time it's luck. Now what you want to do with the Superman is you aim just on the right hand side above their knee and as they're about to jump, you take the shot as they're in midair. Thus it's called the Superman because it looks like he's flying horizontally and you take the head off. Alright, next is the Spider-Man. As soon as he's coming out of the roll, you take the shot. What you want to do is you want to aim at their feet when they jump. And as soon as they're coming out the roll, you take the head and you take the shot and take the kill. Alright, next we're going to be doing the Hangman. I actually haven't seen this shot in a lot of montages at the moment. What you do is you want to aim about half the height of the man, of the opponent's body, above the cover that he's about to come out of. As you'll see now more clearly from the back view, you aim it where his head is and then about halfway up and as soon as he's climbing over you take the shot. A lot of these shots take a lot of practice and a lot of time to master. What I recommend is you get into a lobby full of bots, fill it up private and just keep sniping. Make all the weapon sniper rifles. Remember practice makes perfect and just keep practicing those sniper rifle skills. I'll catch you guys a bit later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, subscribe, do what you need to do. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Cheers. Bye.